What's up everyone? It's me, Zach Lesage from Rare Candy, and we are back here with another video entry for kind of my new series of what do cards do in our post-rotation format. So in this specific video, we're going to be looking at some of the Pokemon that are, or actually most of the Pokemon in our Unbroken Bonds, that all the way from Ultra Prism to Unbroken Bronze, that has all these control type capabilities. So you might have heard the term control and thought, think of like Zora control and kind of dominating your opponent. Pokemon with kind of these creepy cards, these kind of nasty cards, these cards that you don't want to see facing in front of you. Well, maybe you want to build one of these decks or you're looking for an idea for your deck. These are the best control Pokemon in our current post-rotation standard format. So let's get it started and look at the cards. So we have quite a little bit of ground to cover today. I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to go over cards briefly but I will make it as specific and necessary as possible to go over them. So first things first here, we got Persian um, with make them pay. If your opponent has four more cards in their hand, they reveal their hands and you get to choose the cards you want to discard until your opponent has exactly four cards left into their hand. Now this card has seen play in decks to counter unknown hand decks, especially if that deck cannot beat unknown hand. Um, if your opponent plays a deck with a lot of cards in your hand, you might want to choose Persian to discard cards at your choosing to make sure your opponent will... You gotta make them pay! And that's what it says in the attack's name. We got Trumbeak. So, you get to play Trumbeak down from your hand, you don't need to evolve it at all. Look at the top card of your opponent's deck, and if it's a supporter card, you could put it into the Lost Zone. Um, you don't necessarily have to, especially if it's a supporter card you want them to have in your hands. Um, but for the most part, if it's one of those great supporter cards that you don't want your opponent to play, maybe you're already making sure you already know what's on top of their deck, and you specifically want to choose that supporter card, maybe you place it there with another card, Trumbeak is your card to play. Slacking. Um, so as long as this Pokemon's your active, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no abilities. Except unless they have another Pokemon with the lazy ability. So if you're playing against a lot of decks with abilities in them and you want to build up slacking, maybe you kind of partner this with some other control cards, you could stop your opponent from doing a lot of abilities. The game for a while has been ability driven, so slacking might be a great choice or it might be its own deck coming in this new format. Maybe it's just going to take you to break the card, make it the absolute best it can be. Absol. So a lot of decks play Jirachi, and Jirachi has a retreat cost of one. They make it free with a skateboard. Absol would give it that retreat cost back. Or maybe your opponent does a lot of retreating in their deck um, without free retreat. Um, Absol will give them one more retreat cost. So Absol is a great way at punishing basic Pokemon by giving them an extra retreat cost. You could also use that for its Shadow Seeker attack, which does more damage depending on how much of your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat costs, how big it is. Alolan Muck. So when you evolve Alolan Muck from your hand, you get to look at the top six cards of your deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. So especially in this new format with Pokemon Communication, Acro Bike, Mysterious Treasure, Custom Catcher, Switch, all being great cards to play in high quantities, not so much on the supporters because we're running a little bit light on playable supporters in this format, Alolan Muck might be a great way to get those cards in your opponent's discard pile. Maybe you can combo this with another card that does extra damage for Pokemon for cards that they have in their discard pile or you could try to Lost Zone some of those cards in efforts to maybe deck your opponent out. This would be a great way to start taking some cards off your opponent's deck. Haunch Crow GX. So we actually have a couple control aspects about this card. So if it's your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tools, special energies, or stadium cards. So none of those escape boards, a hustle belt, maybe they want to play a triple acceleration energy, and maybe they want to play their black market prism star, or a heat factory, or a power plant. They can't do none of that with ruler of the night. Um, you can evolve Murkrow into Haunch Crow GX very quickly by using a Dusk Stone, so it has its built-in energy evolution, or this built-in uh, evolution expediter into it. Um, an Unfair GX, your opponent reveals their hand, discard two cards from it. It's done. So you can control your opponent by their tools, their special energies, and stadium playings that they can't play them at all, and you can discard cards from their hand. Haunch Crow GX seems like one of the greatest control cards we've had printed recently, so I definitely would keep my eyes peeled out on this one. Gumi. I actually played this card in the expanded format, and I've tried to build in the standard format, but Gumi does make your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless more. Um, maybe you have a way to deny them of energies or further prevent them from attacking, but Gumi is a great place to start, especially if they have no way to shut off your ability or if they don't have any way to get that extra energy cost. 
We got Gardevoir, Sylveon, GX. So really here, we're looking at the Magical Miracle GX. So if you basically have six um, Fairy Energies attached to it total, you can shuffle your opponent's hand into their deck. Zero, no cards in hand. Especially if you pair this with a card that allows to control them or other further aspects, or can kind of build up the Gardevoir, Sylveon, GX into a strong attacker. Um, it's kind of a great way to control your opponent's hand. I recently played against one of these at the North American International Championships, and having my Baby Blue Cephalon's uh, hand for that deck shuffled into nothing really set me back and slowed down the pace of the game and allowed my opponent to amount a comeback. We did end up tying, so be careful with time if you're playing this card, because it can take a lot of time to build up, and your opponent getting nothing can elongate a game, but it is a strong way to just kind of get a dominating position in the game. Here we have Mimikyu GX, so you can use Perplex to confuse your opponent's active Pokemon. And that's not really why we chose this card. We use it for Dream Fair Fear GX. So choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and your opponent shuffles all, the, all of it into their deck. Um, so if they build up a really big Stage 2 Pokemon, or Pokemon that required a lot of setup, even like the past Gardevoir, uh, Sylveon Gardevoir GX, or Gardevoir Sylveon GX, you could shuffle one of those Pokemon with all of their energies attached to it back into your opponent's deck, setting your opponent back. Um, with only it being costing one fairy energy, I think that GX attack is a very strong GX attack and it might see play as a tech in many decks. Aromatis. So flip two coins, either of them as heads, your opponent reveals their hand, for each heads choose a card you find there and your opponent shuffles them into, into their deck. So whether they've purposely built up their hand and kind of this masterpiece that they're trying to build things up, or if you're just trying to go punch an aroma every single turn and kind of layering it with other cards such as Mars or any other cards that are coming out in the future, Punch and Aroma would be a great way to kind of set your opponent's hand back at zero and put them into a kind of desert of dr drawing dead. So I think Aroma Tease could be a really cool card, especially if you're trying to build a control deck. Um, Rabombi. So not so much controlling your opponent on what they can do, but when your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, you kind of block your opponent from affecting your fairy type Pokemon, as long as you got Rabombi on your bench. So this could be a great way of preventing your opponent's control decks or controlling what your opponent can do in a game. Um, my, a card that might pair really nice with, with it, uh, Florgis, another fairy type Pokemon. So you may flip a coin if heads put an item card from your discard pile on top of your deck. It's a great way to get multiple kind of um, pesky cards such as Dangerous Driller, Crushing Hammers back turn after turn. And with Rabombi, your opponent can't really get around the Florgis, especially if they play some of these new supporter cards or any cards that can come out in the future that can get around it. In the past, this it would have been a great combo to stop Guzma. I'm sure you must remember that amazing card. Um, Florgis is a great way to get those things back. Um, you can also prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Fairy or Dragon Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So if Rayquaza GX becomes a big kind of part of the metagame, this would be a great way to block that as well. Diglett, a little bit of a weird card. I'm sure you weren't expecting to see a basic Pokemon like Diglett on here. But if you discard this Pokemon with Giovanni's Exile, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. This might be a great way to start decking out your opponent in the process. We got Lycanroc GX, so we're using this card for its Twilight Eyes ability. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, so basically you turn a Ryolu or a Ditto Prism Star into a Lycanroc, you can discard an energy card from your opponent's active Pokemon. Energy Denial has often been one of the stronger strategies that we have, and Lycanroc GX does it quite well. Ride on. So working really well with uh, Diglett, um, Dirty Work is also a card that works with Giovanni's Exile, so normally you just discard one card of your opponent's deck, the top card, and if you play Giovanni's Exile from your hand, you discard the top five cards. So if you layer that with a couple Diglets and maybe use Triple Acceleration Energy to make Dirty Work a little bit more efficient, you could start decking out your opponent very quickly with Dirty Work, Diglet, Giovanni's Exile. I'm sure you can see how this kind of mill concept works. And for those of you who don't don't know, um, in Pokemon, if you if your opponent has no cards left in their deck when they go to draw their card for their next turn, they do instantly lose the game. So this is a win condition. It's not often used, but maybe you can kind of piece together how this deck might work and maybe you want to build it for yourself we got kabutops here so as long as this pokemon's your active pokemon <clears throat> your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand stopping your opponent from playing cards is often a great strategy because your opponent puts these cards into their deck um, with decks running upwards of 
15 supporter cards in our format, you could stop them from using 25% of their deck. With some of the new cards coming out in Unified Minds, you can get Kabutops out even quicker. So I definitely feel like Fossilite Memories might see some play, especially when some new cards from Unified Minds get released. Omastar, another fossil type Pokemon. So as long as you have fewer bench Pokemon in play than your opponent, they can't play any item cards from their hand. So if you keep your bench pretty tight, really low, um, stopping your opponent from playing item cards, similar to Kabutops that I just went over, usually decks run about 20 item cards, so you could stop them from playing about 30% of their deck. It could be a great strategy, again, especially some of the new cards come out in Unified Mind, so keep your eyes peeled out for those. Moltres. So this is actually the wrong Moltres. Um, they all actually look very much the same. So while we're going over, let's click on the right Moltres. So this is one of the reasons why we sort cards. We got this Moltres right here. Did I, do I not even own one? It's very possible that I don't even own the Moltres that we need. That's of course the reason there. We got this Moltres right here. So discard all fire energy cards from this Pokemon, then discard a card from your top of your opponent's deck for each energy you discard this way. So I apologize in advance for me thinking that it was the other Moltres. I'm sure you can tell that they look the same in this um, video, but we do have a top burner, which will allow you to discard cards from your opponent's deck. So that could be very cool, a great way to discard cards from your opponent's deck. So not to jump too far ahead, let's jump into Shuckle. So Shuckle has a few controlling aspects to it. So you could prevent all damage from done to this Pokemon, by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energies attached to them. So you need to have three plus energies in order to attack the Shuckle GX, um, at least with your damage attacks. Then you can make your opponent triple poisons with its attack triple poison, and you can also paralyze them with the GX attack. So all of these cards kind of work in kind of a control stall mill deck. Um, Shuckle GX has been kind of pivotal and being seeing play in some of these decks in the past, so it might be pivotal in their success in the future. Next up on the list is Gloom, so a little bit of an odd card here. You get to once during your turn, if your bench isn't full, if your opponent's bench isn't full, that is, flip a coin of heads, your opponent reveals their hand, and you grab a basic Pokemon from there onto their bench. So maybe they're holding on to a Dedenne GX that they're trying to play down next turn to use Dedenne Change. Um, you can use Irresistible Aroma to play it down, stop that ability, or even make their bench more full if they had other plans during their next turn. Maybe you're trying to add more Pokemon to their bench so that they can't do much else with their hand, or maybe you have something that does extra damage if they have more bench Pokemon, or draws extra cards if they have more bench Pokemon, such as Erica's Hospitality. Gloom might very well be your card. Got Sceptile here. So prevent all damage done to your Pokemon that have any grass energy attached to them by the attacks of your opponent's Ultra Beast. So if we do fall into a metagame that has quite a few Ultra Beast Pokemon, such as Naganadel, Blacephalon GX, Zerkatry, Neo Lego, the list goes on and on. Sceptile will block those Pokemon from doing damage to your Pokemon that have grass energy attached to them. So if that becomes a trend, make sure you are there working out a Sceptile deck. Zerkatry GX, so this card actually saw a reprint in one of the sets as a full art that allows it to still stay in our post-rotation format. Um, your opponent's Pokemon will, with any special energies, you can't do any damage to them. You can't do damage to the Zergatry GX. You can discard the top card of your opponent's deck with Rumbling Wires, and you could look through your opponent's hand and add a card to their prize cards. So all in all, this is a very disruption-based card, control-based card that you might want to fit into your deck, especially if you run Lightning Energies, or if you're running into a bunch of decks with special energies. Luxio. So the Shinx allows you to evolve into the Luxio very quickly, um, more quickly than other Pokemon available in the format, and you can use Disconnect to stop your opponent from playing item cards from their hand during your next turn. With 80 HP and kind of not a strong attack with Disconnect, only doing 30 damage, this might not be that strong, but as we've seen, Seismitoad GX, or Seismitoad EX that is, in our expanded format has absolutely dominated this past season, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone can make Luxio work with another few control cards in this list from this video. Ampharos. So once during your turn, 
you may put two lightning energies from your hand into your lost zone if you do your opponent's active pokemon is paralyzed so this is a stage two pokemon and discarding or er, and sending two lightning energies from your hand to the lost zone is a little bit costly but paralyzing your opponent's active pokemon can be a really strong play this might be a tech card in Ampharos gx base deck or there might be some other cards that work with this to stop your opponent from doing anything in the game so maybe try to work on a deck with this one Dialga. So especially if you could power up this Pokemon quickly, whether you're playing Magnezone, the metal type Pokemon that can expedite energies, or even in a Malamar deck or an Ultra Necrozma Malamar deck, you could use turn back time to kind of de-evolve your Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon, and knocking it out kind of prematurely than that, what they were expecting. Now our format does have a lot of strong basic Pokemon attackers, so I wouldn't be surprised if turn back time would often run into basic Pokemon, but if stage one, stage two Pokemon do become big in the format, turn back time might be an amazing card to play by doing damage and de-evolving to get an early knockout, especially on a built up Pokemon. Similar to Dialga, we have Dialga GX, and we also have this Dialga GX2, depending on which types are popular in the game. If Fire types pos popular, you want to run this one. If Fairy types popular, you want to run this one. They both have the same attack, so it's kind of like a it's kind of a half reprint, but they're both legal. You can use Timeless GX to just skip your opponent's turn. So whether or not it's a kind of big attack that you want to do or anything like that, skipping your opponent's turn can be a great way to add control back into the game especially during the plus three turns of the game you could steal one of your opponent's turns for that durant is a cool card because it allows you to discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck there's not a really great way to power this up with double colorless being gone from our format but if they ever reprint it durant might be the card especially if you're trying to mill your opponent's resources from their deck gengar mimikyu so with horror house gx your opponent can't play any cards from their hands period no matter how many extra energies you have um, I feel like Horror House GX just stopping your opponent from playing cards for a turn could be amazing. They might not have anything in do and they might just go pass. So this could be a really cool card, especially with a lot of HP to stop your opponent from doing everything during their turn. Draft Rig. So you can put two cards from your opponent's discard pile in the Lost Zone. So whether they're playing a deck that tries to get back resources with Oranguru's resource management attack, or if they're a Malamar deck that needs uh, Psychic Energies in the discard pile, to get back with your ability, Giraffe Rig can stop those decks in the process. We got Lunatone here, so as long as you have Soul Rock in play, so do keep that in mind. Fire Pokemon in play have no abilities, except for GX and EX Pokemon. In this case, it would be GX Pokemon. So if you find that there's a lot of non-GX Pokemon with that are Fire type that have abilities in your area, Lunatone might be a great way to stop them and control what your opponent can do. Marshadow, so. We're not really looking at Red Knuckles here. We're looking to discard any Stadium card in play, and then you discard the Marshadow afterwards. So maybe your opponent has a really important uh, Stadium, or maybe their deck relies off their Stadium card to do extra damage. Anything of that sort, Marshadow can take care of their Stadium card. Got Mr. Mime here. So if your opponent's Pokemon have any damage counters on them, and um, you can't put them back into your opponent's hands. So usually this card would work as a way to prevent your opponent from playing Acerola, um, but Acerola has been recently sent to the rotated cards into the expanded format. If they ever reprint a card such as that, you can't, um, this would be a great way to stop it. Um, Spiritomb, so we got Terrify, especially in the basic format, a basic dominated format metagame. We got Terrify, which, um, can stop your opponent's basic Pokemon from attacking during your opponent's next turn. Could be really cool. Um, if they find a way to retreat out of it, um, that would be a way to get around the Spirit Tomb, however. Um, now, this isn't really a card that controls, but it is often seen in control decks. We have Unknown Hand, so if you got 35 or more cards in your hand, you can use this ability. If you do, you win the game. So if you use this with cards such as Steven's Resolve, Lusa Mean, etc., etc., you could build up a big hand and just win. And we got Wobbuffet here. So as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, Prism Star Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, cannot attack and have no abilities. So this could be a great way to stop Prism Stars from use, uh, like Tapu Koko Prism Star from being used, or even attacking with cards such as Shaman Prism Star. Um, there's quite a few that can be played in their format, so maybe Wobbuffet is a great asset to your deck, especially if a few are being played. Got Banette here. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your 
bench one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. So maybe they have a Pokemon that you've easily knocked out that you want to bring back. Maybe it's a pesky tag team GX or a card that you can easily knock out or something that you think would annoy your opponent by filling up their bench. Red Eyes is really there. Hypno. So once during your one when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin if heads choose which one they want to bring up. So usually when my Pokemon get knocked out, I want to send up a free retreater, my next attacker, maybe a Jirachi to use Stellar Wish. Hypno Hypnotic Pendulum can actually stop that from happening and bring up your opponent's wrong Pokemon can often be a game-winning strategy. I think this card is underutilized and it might see a lot more play going forward. We've got Naganadel GX. So we actually saw this card win the North American International Championships when Stefan used Stinger GX to basically you shuffle your prize cards into your deck then both players set out three prize cards um this could be a great way to kind of stay longer in a game by using stinger gx which is also used with triple acceleration energy um to kind of reset the game a little bit maybe you get your opponent into a checkmate position by knocking out a couple of their pokemon next turn or drawing all three of your prize cards or you just need a couple more turns in the game to kind of slow your opponent down shedinja Ugh, don't get me started with this card. This card's absolutely terrifying to sit across. Um, so the Shedinja, you could basically discard all the cards attached to Shedinja and attach it as a tool. Um, when the Pokemon... So you attach it like a tool, so you have the Vessel of Life ability going. Um, that Pokemon, your opponent will take one fewer prize card when knocking out that Pokemon. So if you attach it to a single prize card Pokemon, such as a Oranguru, that's using resource management all the time, your opponent cannot draw a prize card for that Oranguru. With Field Blower being out of the format, and some of the only available ways to kind of get rid of Shedinja would be using Lysander Labs or using Faba, Shedinja seems like it's a very strong card right now, and it might be a great play for Worlds or the Washington Open. Next up, we got Articuno. We got when this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card, prevent all effects that done to your bench water Pokemon. So maybe they want to play, I don't know, um, a Faba to remove a special energy from one of your bench water Pokemon. It's not going to work. It's just going to stop being played. So Articuno is a great way to prevent some of the supporter cards from affecting your bench water Pokemon. Articuno GX. So this card is seen play in a lot of Zora control decks throughout the past season, and it's really for its cold crush. You get to bring it up with its legendary ascent, um, moving a water energy or even a rainbow energy that is to it. You can discard all energies from both active Pokemon. So if you're playing against like a Pikaram deck, or if you're playing against other decks, Cold Crush GX is a great way just to remove all those energies. Palkia GX. So similar to the Dialga GX, we got a Water type and we got a Dragon type. So basically the same card. We want to use this for Zero Vanish GX. Um, so not really looking at the damage, we have Shuffle All Energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck. So with some decks such as Pikaram having upwards of nine energies in play, 10 energies in play, or maybe it's even a Blacephalon deck that's getting ready for the big knockout. They just played three B-strings. Palkia GX is a great way to shuffle all those energies back in and do some damage. And let's go on to the next card. We got Regice. So as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play any stadium cards from their hand. Maybe you have a really strong stadium card in the active position, such as Shrine of Punishment or Life Forest Prism Star. This would be a great way to lock it into play. Um... Or just stopping your opponent from playing their own pesky stadium cards. Got Glaceon GX here. So as long as it's your active Pokemon, your opponent's GX and EX Pokemon. And again, for this video, it's going to be Pokemon GX. They cannot use any abilities. Even if they're in the discard pile. So things such as Zorak GX's trade, which is no longer legal. But let's look at um, new cards such as Persian GX. They can't use Catwalk. So it could be a great way to stop your opponent, especially if GX abilities come back into this game as kind of a huge push. Sylveon. So I had this card played against me early last season at the Oaks Regional Championships in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, so your opponent reveals their hand. You may discard a supporter card you find there and use the effect of this card as that attack. So this could be a great way late game to take away one of your opponent's Cynthia's, especially if they're building up a big hand to shuffle back in so you can't deck them out. Wink Wink, out of nowhere, can kind of surprise your opponent and discard a stadium card or a supporter card there. It's not really used for the effect of that, but just discarding cards from your opponent's hands. We got Slowking, so you can look at your opponent's hand and put a card there you find in the Lost Zone. We This past season, we've used Psychic 
to do extra damage to Reshazard decks with triple acceleration energies, but Memory Melt is really where it's at for this video because you could nab one of their cards and drop it into the Lost Zone. Maybe it's that specific one piece, maybe it's a card that they're looking to try to get out of your lock. Memory Melt's really going to annoy your opponent. You've got Greninja GX, so it's a little bit of a weird card because you could play it onto your bench kind of as a unevolved stage two Pokemon, especially if you use Elusive Master, but we're looking more for the Dark Mist GX, so you could put one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your opponent's hand. So maybe they have a stage two Pokemon or a Pokemon with a lot of energies, maybe just a nuisance, a Pokemon that's like kind of annoying you. Dark Mist GX might be your choice there. So scrolling down this list, looks like we are at the absolute end of this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and seen some of the pesky cards that we have available. Again, I apologize for my misguided Moltres that I even don't earn own. So some of these cards um, are difficult to find or we've pieced together and you might not have heard about them before. So I hope this is kind of broaden your horizons when it comes to building a deck that being said next time um, we're going to be jumping into some of the control trainer cards we have in our available format so hopefully you like this video if you did enjoy this content be sure to like this video and subscribe share it with your friends anyone that you know that would be interested in watching a video like this and always consider in the back of your mind if you are really enjoying our content um, become a patron by joining at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg to really support us. We do have some exclusive content out there. Really hope that you'll enjoy it um, and give us some feedback. Maybe you're looking for some different types of videos. We love hearing from all of you. So that being said, hope you enjoy this video. I'm Zach Lesage. You can catch me on Twitter at ZLesage Pokemon to follow me on my Pokemon journey. That's it for today, everyone. Have yourself a wonderful day.